when you have to troubleshoot a TOC because you've gotten results you didn't expect, it almost always resides in how the styles are applied. And I have a few problems in this table of content. I only wanted one entry for page one. I've got two Garamond Pro and Garamond Pro Regular. My page two is missing altogether and I have three different entries on my page three that I'm going to have to fix. So let's figure that out. Let's go to page one and see if we can determine what's wrong. It looks okay. So when I select this text, which appeared and I didn't expect it to, I can see that font title is actually applied to that with a plus, which indicates that there's been a local override. And that somehow occurred in the production, and I don't remember doing that, but it's easy to fix. Just go here and choose Break Link to Style. So let's go back to our TOC and see if that fixes it. Put the cursor in there, Update Table of Contents. No, and OK. Yes, that fixed it. That, that entry is now gone. But I still have a couple of problems, like my page 2 is missing. Hmm. Let's go to page two and see if we can figure that out. So let's select the text of my font title and look over here. Oh my goodness, somehow it looks correct, but font title wasn't applied. So InDesign does not know that I want a table of contents entry. So click on font title, go back to the TOC, update. No. Okay. Ah, and there it is. All fixed. Only thing I have left to worry about is that I have three entries on page three. Notice it says Caslon Pro Regular as separate entries, and then this Herman Zopf 1954. Uh, uh, let's see if we can figure out how that happened. And we'll just go down to page three here. And whoops, if we go to uh, normal mode. You can see exactly what happened here, that we have a return. And every time InDesign sees a return in something that your leading style has been applied to, it creates a new entry. So got rid of that return. That's good. And looking on the page for something that says Hermann's Op 1954, I select that and I see, I don't know how this happened, but font title got applied to it and there's an override there so it doesn't look like font title. Easily fixed again, break link to style. Let's go back to our table of contents, which is on page A. Update and see if that fixed it. Yes. Okay, great. So we have did a little troubleshooting there. As I said, when you have problems with your table of contents, it almost always relates to the way that your styles have been either applied or not applied. And that's the place to look. So in our next video, we will be, import we'll be finishing up the document by importing our little logo file and creating a hyperlink. And the reason that we want a hyperlink is so when we go to different pages, if we click on our little hyperlink, our logo here, it's going to take us back to the main page. And that will be a very short video, so stick with us.